We're all the way down to section 8 now and I want to talk to you a little bit about creating statements for your customers in QuickBooks. Statements basically go out at the end of the month and it's just a gentle reminder for your customer of everything that happened that month and if they owe you some money then they would see that listed as well. Not all businesses will send out statements. It's really an optional thing but it is really a good little practice to get into especially if your customer owes you money. Let me go ahead and show you how to create statements for your customers. You can send out your statements at any time during the month, but typically they're sent at the end of the month. You're going to go right here where it says statements to get into the statement options. Now like I just mentioned, typically these are sent at the end of the month, so let's go ahead and make this the statement date of December 31st, and we'll make the statement period from the beginning of December to the end of December. That way you get the whole month's worth of information in there. Notice if you'd rather you can just send out a statement that has all the open transactions as of the statement date using this option. You do have some options when selecting your customers. Typically you'll want to send one to all of your customers but it could be that you have certain ones you want to send to. If that's the case you click multiple customers and you choose and you just go down the list and pick the ones you like. You can also just send to one customer where you choose your customer from the list. You have an option also to send to customers of a particular type. So that means if you want to send to just the residential customers, you could in this particular case. Or if they have a preferred send method like email or mail, you could pick from this list. But like I said, typically you'll send to all, possibly multiple, or occasionally you'll just pick one customer to send to. We'll go ahead in this case and send it to Tom Allen and his sunroom. Now over here, you're going to have some options as far as the template itself is concerned. You have the ability to customize what the template looks like, and that's where you go right here where it says customize to do that. You can send one per customer or one per job. There's also some options here as far as would you like to send a statement to your customers by zip code? Would you like to actually print the due date on your transactions? And also you've got some options for things like if the customer doesn't owe you anything, do you still want to send them a statement? Or maybe if they owe you less than $5, do you still want to send one? And that's what those options allow you to do over here. You can also assess finance charges. What will happen here is you'd first have to set up the preferences in QuickBooks so it knows at what rate and how you want these finance charges assessed. But if that is set up and you click here, it will recognize anyone who is overdue and it will create a separate invoice which has just the finance charge on it. But I want to go over here and just preview Tom Allen's and see what it looks like. You can see that the statement says statement in the top right and it's got all of the company information. It also has the amount due right here and it's going to list in the body of the statement the balance from the last month, then anything that was invoiced, anything that was paid, if there was a credit memo, basically anything that happened that month. And at the bottom you'll be able to see how much of that is current in the 1 to 30 day category and so on so all the way across. I'm going to go ahead and hit close and that's really all there is to sending statements. Let's go ahead and wrap up module 4 and talk about the income tracker. Hey everyone, Ava here. Thanks for watching. If you're not a subscriber, click down below to subscribe so you get notified about similar videos we upload. Click over there to get the complete course for QuickBooks 2019. And click over there to watch the complete set of QuickBooks 2019 videos in this playlist. We'll see you next week with additional videos.